So happy Sunday, and um, I can't think of a better way to end the weekend than opening up a mystery pack of comics. And I get these at Ollie's, which is a bargain discount kind of place where brands go to die, <laughs> I guess you could say. But the good thing is, is they do buy these comic books that are curated and bundled up uh, by ND Comics. And um, you get some pretty good ones sometimes. I mean, you might get a lot of new ones, but you will also find some indie ones, obscure ones, and sometimes even as far back as some Silver Age ones. Definitely a lot from the 80s, 90s. Uh, occasionally I found them from the 70s. So it's you can get some good stuff in these. It's luck of the draw. I mean, uh, some of them are really interesting, and sometimes they just give me ideas for comics that I'd like to read. So we already know what two of them are going to be, X-Men and Doctor Who. So um, without further ado, let's get started on this video. So here is an all new X-Men and a bonus digital edition. Uh, I don't know if that's the reason they did this kind of horrible cover here. I'm not a big fan of that with the yellow cap, half rectangle um, on the back. There's Iron Man 3, I think. This is an ad for a Hasbro Iron Man 3 figure. Lights and sounds, sonic blasting Iron Man, full auto blasting motorized missile launcher, glow in the dark armor. I don't know if I ever saw this. Um, and then this, this kind of ugly cover. I'm not a big fan of this cover. And the action is so small and tiny you can barely make it out. And you got this weird... It almost looks like a printing error. Uh, at Kmart, you can get some superhero shoes. I'm guessing this is for kids. I should hope that a grown up wouldn't want to wear those. Um, but I don't judge. If you do, and if it makes you happy, then by all means, it's not hurting anybody. This is 2013. Bad printing here. But when we open it up, you can hear that crack, which means it's never been opened. When we open it up, uh, we see that the uh, picture is much more clear. And I think there's Daredevil. Or, he, or, oh boy. They look different in a lot of the, I thought maybe that isn't, I'm not sure. And see some of the mutants, the evil mutants bust in. I'm having a hard time identifying anybody. Is that Deathstroke? Is that the one that's like Deadpool but not Deadpool? I don't recognize hardly any of these characters. Um. I mean, these look like X-Men. That looks like Jean Grey, Cyclops. Um, maybe Storm? Is that Beast? There's Saint... Oh, uh, there's uh, Wolverine. Oh, here was an ad for um, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. It's a really fun game. Me and Mary played it together. I, we always play the Lego games together. Because it's one of the few platform games that you can co-op. It's getting a lot of glare. Sorry about that. The Wolverine's drooling here. Um... 
all things considered, I mean, this might be a great story, but I'm not a fan of... I mean, it's it's competent art, but it's just very dark and kind of uh, ugly. Where some comics sort of draw you in with the artwork. This doesn't really do it for me too much. Well, some of the some of it's pretty good. I like that scene right there. You got Iceman, who also looks a lot like Silver Surfer. Um, that looks like Storm, but yeah, yeah, because she has this mohawk. There's a I get these little stickers and some of these for the digital copy thing. That sticker. Get some uh, Incredible Hulk and Amazing Spider-Man jerseys. Slug Terror. I vaguely remember that being in the clearance section. Uh, and we get some Iron Man and Avengers stuff here. A shield, a fist, and that's actually kind of a cool idea. A hammer. And so that was this X-Men comic. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a fan of this one, but, it, you know, nothing bad about it. Just wasn't exactly what I what I like. Here we have Action Lab um, Raven. Princess Raven. The Pirate Princess. I think I've seen one other of these. Um, year 2, Love and Revenge. And on the back we have Toyetica. Uh, uh, that's like a a unicorn kind of girl uh, and there's a Funko Pop thing there Hero Cats I've heard of that one um, Chapter 4 Stitches I like the pirate map sort of cover here and we get to some okay artwork but not really my style um and we get to this story of this pirate princess and it might be an interesting story I'm not exactly sure what's going on I do think I have one more of these in all of these that I've looked through the ones that I choose to keep I try to, you know, complete stories, and then the rest I donate to a friend of mine who runs a comic book store. It looks like kind of a silly, goofy comic. Um, but it does somewhat look interesting, so I might actually, you know, hold on to these. And we get some art, coloring, stuff like that, the kind of stuff they put in the back now. When I was a kid, they never ever had stuff like that in the back of comics. It was, I mean, it, it, it would have maybe an ad for Colgate or something, but all of this, like, concept art and everything. Now, look what we have here. Uh, a, a Loki comic, which is real timely um, because of the show coming out, or it's been out, that I think it's already finished. I'm not sure. I didn't actually watch this one. I watched the last two. I, I, watched, uh, I watched WandaVision, which I really liked. Um, and I watched, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, which I liked, but I didn't think was as intriguing as WandaVision. It was good, but it, it was a buddy cop show. And I liked, I liked the chemistry between Falcon and Winter Soldier, you know, um, Anthony Mackie and, uh, Sebastian Stan. I think those two work together really well and play off each other really well. I thought that but the story wasn't as gripping as WandaVision and the only problem I have with WandaVision is I really did not like the fi the finale and I thought the finale wasted uh, Catherine Hahn who's just a 
she's a special effect of an actress. I mean, she is just an actress you should never waste. Um, but that wasn't on her, that was the writing. I just felt like they had something different originally. So this is Loki. I don't know if this is anything like the show, but I do like the art, I'll tell you that. The art is really kind of cool, and I like this a lot. See, I don't mind the sort of simple drawings, but when you have, a, a, like, it, this to me is very, very cool. It's hard to explain why I like this better than the last comic. Maybe because all, it may not be super detailed, but all of the detail, all of the work put into it, even if the detail isn't super precise, it still looks really great. Like a ice cream with a, a, a hamburger and onion rings and a caramel apple on top. Um... It's still pretty good. I, I, this seriously reminds me of what we're seeing in the Loki show, the way he's dressed here. Gotta wonder. I'm really curious now if this has anything to do with it. Oh, look at that juggernaut figure. Wow. Uh, this has got to be the builder figure for this wave. And this looks like a good wave with Deadpool. Uh, Rogue. Um... Phoenix Cable kind of looks like Josh Brolin um, Havoc Iceman Kitty Pride and this Wolverine uh, I think that's a terrific build a figure right there especially if his helmet comes off next one is a comic that I always am excited to see The Victorian uh, this sort of steampunk period comic uh it, it's got some glue on the cover hmm. um but i always am intrigued when i open these up and i've been collecting and accumulating these and then i'm gonna put them in order and see what how much of a story i have and what other issues i need to look for This is the kind of artwork that blows my mind. I really, really like it. Always enjoy flipping through these. It's kind of leaves of rice. big stack of Victorians I need to go through and figure out what I have. And we get into the steampunk stuff, sort of like, uh, what is that game, Biohazard or Bioshock? They had all this, it was fun to play, um, even with its old timey graphics, it's still a lot of fun to play and look at, with all the brass and glass, and all of the wood paneling, all the things that make steampunk what it is. Top hats. Now, I'm not a steampunk guy. I don't cosplay in any way, but uh, doesn't mean I don't like to look at it in a comic. Um, but 
For some reason, top hats and goggles are necessary. Um, oh, and they get a little history lesson here about the Industrial Revolution. Now, that is the kind of stuff I like to see in a comic. Okay, I'm going to set this one aside to read later. Um, what's this one? This is Decoy. It has a picture of an alien, it looks like. Um, it's put out. Uh, it's got a milk mustache ad. This is uh, made by Courtney Huddleston. Eli Williams, Bob Almond. 1999 by Penny Farthing Press. Interesting. And the artwork is really good. So far, I really like it. I do like this artwork. It's kind of airbrushed. Um, I, I, I would bet in 1999 they probably did do this with an airbrush. That was a long time ago. They had computer graphics, but... I like the papers it's printed on. Interesting uh, fight scene here. And an ad for the Victorian, so it's obviously the same company that's putting these out. And we get some artwork in the back. Some ads. And some more Victorian and stuff. Okay. Next is Miraculous by Action Lab. This is very thick. It's almost like a book. It's almost like a trade paperback. It's so thick. <laughs> Throw down some kind of card game that seems to be for this comic. It's a guy dressed like Catwoman. Oh, I big remember this this is uh, I'm pretty sure this is done with computers but it has this sort of 3d effect ladybug and cat noir um, black hat uh, I think I've seen one other one of this series and I do appreciate looking at this artwork it is really cool to look at I'm having deja vu. For all I know, I've done this exact same pack in one of my other videos and wouldn't even know it because some of the stuff has seemed very familiar to me now. I don't know. I have to dig through and see if I have looked at this one already. It seems familiar, but there's also stuff in it that I don't feel like I've ever seen. Kind of reminds me of like the Doodle Bops or 
lazy town or something. I don't know why I say that, but um, or it just has this sort of like a kids show thing about it. It's very long. I mean, it's almost like a book. Of course, not a lot of reading, just a lot of, um, like this pose is just, I mean, I guess this is all taking place at the Eiffel Tower. And he, then he should be called Chat Noir, in my opinion. If we're gonna do this in Paris. I mean, that is one of the most famous um, paintings or artworks. Um, I think it's really a poster by like, Rudolf Salas or something. It's, when I was in Paris, they, they had tons of those posters and they had tons of by that artist and um, that Chat Noir particularly was one of the hot sellers you found it everywhere in Paris some um, magnets and just did all the souvenir shops if you haven't been to Paris they know the stuff that this has to be fairly recent because those things were on the shelves not that long ago okay what year was this this was 2015. Alrighty. This is All New Ultimates by Marvel. And it's another one of these digital edition things. It looks like, I think in Deadpool 2, um, Domino had. Was it Domino? The, the lucky girl. She had one of these uh, guns like that. I can't remember her name was Domino. Um... Amazing Spider-Man too. So we're at the Andrew Garfield level of Spider-Man right now. You can you can kind of date everything by who was playing Spider-Man. I mean, so if you if you want to age something like ah, uh, I think this is Tobey Maguire, but this here is uh, Tom Holland. But this one here goes way back to whoever played him in the seventies. It's all right. Artwork's okay. Um. He looks like the Pokemon guy, sort of, or the Ben 10 guy. Um, 300 Rise of an Empire. I didn't even know they made a sequel to that movie. I don't see anyone actor was. Um, Rodrigo Santoro is about the only name I recognize on that list. Oh, Lena Headey's in it. Eva Green's in it. I reckon that's her. Uh, Eva Green was in... Uh, I think that's her. She was in... Um, oh, uh, the movie about the Crusades. It had Orlando Bloom. Um, uh, what was it called? Kingdom of Heaven. Yeah. So I thought I I enjoyed it. Uh, I know a lot of people hated it, but I kind of liked it. I like generally any Liam Neeson movie. Oh, the lip biting thing. That has become the new duck face. If you watch Psycho, um, Janet Lee did that a lot when she was driving, but nobody thought it was, you know, a um, particularly attractive thing. I, I mean, it just it, it's different now. It's just kind of funny how we go through all of these weird Instagram phases. Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. I 
and Rocket Raccoon. They were promoting Guardians at this point. That was interesting. Marvel. Uh, what do we have here? X Force. Oh, huh, this should be interesting. Uh, if you recall, in Deadpool 2, X Force is the group of um, superheroes that the Wade assembled. And I just mentioned uh, Domino. Okay, let's see if we can see if any of the same characters are in this. <laughs> so, um, like, what was his name? Dave? What was the one guy? Who was the, the the dad guy who just joined? That was the funniest part of that movie. Street Fighter. This this goes way back. If it's got Jean Claude Van Damme and Raúl Julia. Um, we've got. X Force. Let's see if I can recognize anybody. Peter. I wonder if Peter was a member of the X Force. <laughs> um, Peter was that guy's name. Sunspot. Um, Locus. Well, they're talking about. Cerebro. Of course, Deadpool's not in charge. Pitfall. Oh my gosh, this is... This one's going far back. I like the artwork in this. And we were we were in the old uh, Super Nintendo... Uh, uh, Sega Genesis. Look at this Western game. Go West, young man, and blow away anything that moves. This is so 90s, too. Just the way everything is said with all of the, the punchy taglines. They had a, they loved that in the 90s. They couldn't advertise anything without a punchy tagline. I remember when The Hound of the Baskervilles made for TV movie came out in the 90s, and it had Matt Frewer playing Sherlock Holmes. So I don't think anyone wanted to watch it, but then the tagline of it was, Every dog gets his day, and I just wanted to barf. <laughs> so we got Cyclops. Looks like Professor X. You know, X-Men was pretty popular in the 90s. You may not know this. That's probably why X-Men was one of the first Marvel movies to be made. Um, it, was a, it was very popular. Um, we had an X-Men platformer game. I think it was on Sega Genesis, and we all used to play it in high school, and um, that's kind of how I first got to know all these characters. Professor X Memorial Service, he died several times. I think he's officially dead after Logan, but I don't know. They could bring him back. If Patrick Stewart wants to come back, they'll bring him back. Although Patrick Stewart's doing the whole Picard thing, and I think he's playing a character. His Picard is a lot like Professor X. Green Hornet. On the back, there's a cover for Vampirella. But Green Hornet... Oh, I'm thinking Green Lantern. My bad. Yeah, uh, Kato is uh, a, a lady now. I'm getting all my green things confused. Um, that used to, you see in the TV show, Bruce Lee played Kato. The artwork's pretty good. I think they made a uh, movie for this with Seth, uh, Seth Rogen, but it kind of bombed. This is more of an edgy Green Hornet, as you can see. It's not your dad's Green Hornet. I'm sure they were thinking that when they made this. Anything that has Vampirella on the back is going to be more edgy. And he's making out with Kato, which just seems wrong in so many ways. Um...
I guess this this com company bought these old licenses like the Shadow and the Green Hornet and all that stuff and decided to reissue. Hey, there's um the Shadow. Yeah, look at that. Fatal. That was uh, Green Hornet. And finally, we have Doctor Who with, um, oh, what's what's his name? Matt Lucas? Uh, Matt, Matt Smith? Yeah, Matt Smith on the cover. Um, he was in some movie I saw recently, which I really liked, and now I can't remember what it was. He was a bad guy. I think he was bald. And I can't remember. Is it a, Was it a show? That's gonna drive me crazy now. Was it a Marvel thing? I know he was actually going to be in, um, supposed to be in the Rise of Skywalker as the villain. Of course, that was George Lucas's plan, but they decided it'd be a better idea to bring back Emperor Palpatine, who was exploded twice, and not even explain how he came back, and then undo everything that all of the original trilogy did. So they could try to tie it up. And it was... The Rise of the Skywalker was just a terrible movie. I mean, it was just a terrible movie. It was all That's all there is to it in every way. It's birdemic terrible. I, it was poorly edited. Poorly acted. Bad story. Bad... Okay, I take that back. The actors did okay. They did their best with what they had. It was just stupid to see Lando Calrissian on that planet. White Lando would not settle on a planet like that. Um, and then him and Luke were searching for this this ship that was just a couple of miles away from them, and they couldn't find it. But but Ray and the gang stumbled on it with some special quicksand. It, everything about that movie was so stupid. I I could spend a whole video just going over everything wrong with that. And I haven't even hardly commented on this. But I'm not a big fan of the artwork. Um, David Tennant, I think, was the best recent Doctor Who. That guy. Okay. So, I hope you enjoyed this comic book review. We look to all of these comics. And um, I'm setting this one, this Victorian aside, and um, I thought this one was kind of cool. And honestly, the X Force was kind of neat too, but this was kind of a kind of a meh one. I'd say it. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. So if you like my channel, uh, please subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when my videos come out. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video and leave me a comment. And I do answer my comments. It might take me a while. Uh, sometimes I have to think about what I'm going to say. So, you know, if you don't get an answer right away, you know, it, it will still probably come. Unless you, you know, I mean, unless you're like one of those robots or something. So, because <laughs> I get, I seem to get that comment first on every video I upload now, because I get a robot that is some link to some site you don't want to go to. So if you do see those, don't click on them. I really, that really annoys me. All right, bye.